morning guys welcome to Wednesday quickie I've already opened it but hey I'm gonna show it to you I got this at the Asian market it's roast red pork seasoning mix look how beautiful that is huh this reminds me of those short little ribs at the Chinese restaurant in Canada I used to love but anyways it says to mix this package with a, a cup of water so that's what I got on the side here look how red that is Ooh, crazy I can see doing ribs with this pork ribs with this heck yeah all right so um it says to use a pork butt but uh that tends to hurt thomas stomach because of all the fat in it so i've got a pork loin here that i trimmed the fat off and i'm going to cut that into strips it says an inch and a half to eight inches which is about that um and then you put that uh, marinade in there and you leave it in the fridge for two, three hours. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try it out. Of course, there's no air fryer recipes in there. There's oven recipes. Slice thin, serve as an hors d'oeuvre or as a garnish for chopped suey, fried noodles, and fried rice. Interesting. All right, then. All right, so let's cut this up. I'm gonna show you. Actually, I think I'm gonna cut it in half first, maybe. Maybe we should do little strips. What do you guys think? Hmm, no, we're gonna leave it long. I've made an executive decision. I do have some ribs videos, if you wanna see that. I'll put a link at the end of this uh, video if you wanna check it out. It's uh, It was kinda of like a tribute video to a friend of uh, ours, a YouTube friend. I've never met him in person, but old man cooking. He's since passed away, so I did one of his videos, which was ribs, and it's it was so good. And that, if I remember the seasoning, he used dar uh, what's it called, Mrs. Dash, and stuff like that. Now, see, this is a good a good way to do it right there, like that thick, okay? Um, but I'll put a link at the end of the video so you can check it out. Really, such a sweet guy. He was so sweet. He supported everybody's channel. I mean, I saw him comment on on so many of my friends my barbecue friends or whatever cooking channel friends that i have there it's a community we kind of support each other out here uh i've been around for a long time i don't know if you've noticed but i've been around since 2012 so i know a lot of uh, youtubers <laughs> all right so there you go and i'm going to put that in a gallon bag that i got here with that stuff and i'll meet you back in a couple hours all right we'll see you later ready look at that that pork is red like you wouldn't believe. Like cinnamon hot red. Okay, so this is the Rapid Crisp Air Fryer by DeLonghi. Okay, the beauty of this air fryer, if you're new here, it's got a bottom burner. So I really don't have to flip anything over when I'm, you know, frying or whatever. It does all kinds of stuff. So the settings to this air fryer is by, uh, well, it's digital, but it's got number settings. So it's gonna, uh, whatever I'm gonna use it, just go read it up. I typed it all down below. Should I spray some more? Let me spray a little bit of oil in there. I'm gonna spray a little bit of olive oil in that pan. Okay. Jeez Louise, that, I'm telling you, it looks just like cinnamon. Wow, look at that. And I think I'm gonna fit them all in there. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to anyways. Let me do that and I'll be right back. I'm all in there. They're kind of, I don't like it when they're all touching each other. So I might just spread them out a little bit. It's gonna shrink while it's cooking. So, all right. So with this, I am gonna go to manual, which is my go-to uh, setting usually. It's got, let me see. It's got French fry, pizza, chicken, casserole, and manual, okay? So it goes to number four. I, it's already at number three. I'm gonna leave it that way. I'm gonna turn that bottom burner on. So you're, if you don't have a bottom burner, of course you're gonna have to flip that pork over halfway. Internal temperature is going to be 145 plus, okay, with pork. So if you're new to this air fryer game business, you need a meat thermometer just to be safe, okay? I'm gonna leave 30 up there. It's probably gonna be less because it's sliced thin. If it was the whole loin, it would take about, um. 20 minutes or so okay you know it depends on the size but i'm gonna leave it there just so we can see how much time has elapsed okay so let's go you don't have to spray the oil on top or nothing you know what you guys i'm gonna bump it up to the highest setting because it says to uh cook it at 400 degrees 
this goes up to 380, 375, somewhere in there. So I'm gonna bump it up to the highest setting. So when you're air fryer, put it up full blast. All right. All right, you guys, we're halfway done. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this on the rack because it'll bring it up closer to the uh, burner. And it'll darken them up, crisp them up, I should say. Put a little charred little action on there. So if you have a, a, a rack that you can set these on, that would be perfect. I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but you know, it's no big deal. So this is the canned cooker rack. It's two pieces, but it fits perfectly in the uh, de Longini. All right. Put them back in there. Okay, so highest setting. Do it for another five, 10 minutes. We're almost at the 20 minute mark, which is what they tell you to cook. Look at that, see that? What I did there was kind of do like a little broil action when you put it up closer to the burner like that. So I'm pretty sure it's cooked, but yeah, look, we're in 180s. So I'm gonna plate it and taste it for you guys. I made some seasoned rice to go with this, so I can't wait to taste it. We'll be back. All right, you guys, time to taste. It smells, I don't know what, how to explain it. it. smells, I can't get cinnamon out of my head. I, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, here's my seasoned rice. It's just cilantro in my cilantro that I have to from the garden. Even if you go over 145, your meat is not gonna be tough, okay? It's not gonna dry out. I'm telling you, meat in the air fryer is the best thing ever. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That is really good. Mm -mm -mm. It's pretty close to those little ribs that I remember. Hmm. It's strong in something. I just can't pick. I just can't pinpoint it. Hmm. God, I wish I could pinpoint it. It's not salty or spicy. A little bit salty. It's not spicy or anything. It's just strong in something. But it's very good. Very interesting. Anyways, I like to try new things. See how it works in the air fryer. That's what we do around here, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like if you want the, the broil action, put it closer to the burner. Lift that up. You could use all kinds of stuff to do that. Like a tin a tin pie thing, turn it upside down, put your pork on there. You know what I mean? You could adjust things. Um, anything aluminum or, if it's oven proof, it's air fryer proof. Let's just put it that way. But that little rack is great because it's two pieces. It's always listed down below, okay? Anyways, you guys, I would give this a, it's very strong to me. It's very strong, but you know, you don't need a whole lot. It would be good like if you cut it up and put it in some white rice. That would be good. But they have suggestions of what you could do with this. So that's pretty nice. I like it. I'd say, uh, you know, 4.3-ish, somewhere in there. It's just very strong in something. So if you've tried this, let me know in the comments below. What is it that you take out of this that's like so, ugh, je ne sais quoi. Anyways, guys, thanks for shopping. Bye-bye. <laughs>